Welcome to Miss Smith's math tutorial videos. I'm Miss Smith. Today we're going to be talking about the next two rules of exponents. So the third rule that we're going to talk about is called the product rule. Anytime you hear the word product in math, it's referring to multiplying. So if you have a product of two numbers, uh, that means that those two numbers have been multiplied together. So when it comes to exponents, our product rule, we might have x to the power of 2 being multiplied by x to the power of 5. The first basic thing to understand is that anytime you don't have a number, you don't see a whole number directly in front of a variable or a letter, there's an understood one there. So there would also be an understood one here. Now you'll notice in this that we are just straight multiplying across. We've got like bases because we have an x and an x. We've got a whole number and a whole number. So we can go ahead and combine these. So we'll just start with our first term. 1 times 1 is 1. We've got x squared being multiplied by x to the fifth. So when we are just straight multiplying, we add these exponents. So it would be x to the 2 plus 5 is 7. This could extend beyond to different whole numbers. So we could have, for example, 2x to the 7th being multiplied by 4x to the 6th. So we would solve this the same way we did the top one. Our whole number times our whole number, 2 times 4 is 8. And then we've got two like bases here. These are both x's, so I can combine them. So we've got x to the 7th times x to the 6th. I'm just straight multiplying across, so I add my exponents. So in this case, it would be x to the 13th. It's important to note that once we get into high school math, we really don't use this dot a whole lot anymore. We do every now and again, and it's important to recognize it. But typically, a problem like this we would write as 2x to the 7th times 4x to the 6th. So when we have something enclosed in parentheses, whatever's directly in front of it, we are multiplying. Um, so this would work the exact same way as the above problem. 2 times 4 is 8. x to the 7th times x to the 6th, like term, so we can combine and get x to the 13th. Now one kind of tricky thing to remember that sometimes students forget is you might have x times x to the 7th, or as we might write it, x times x to the 7th. When we're solving this, a lot of times students say, okay, I have like bases, I've got an x and x to the 7th, my answer would be x to the 7th. But in the same way that we have an understood 1 in front of the x there, and also here, we also have an understood exponent of 1. So if there's not an exponent written, it's understood that it's 1. So when we're adding, we have to remember there's a 1 there. So we would proceed. 1 times 1 is 1. x to the first times x to the seventh. 1 plus 7 is x to the eighth. So very easy to forget sometimes that there is an understood 1 there, but it's really important. The last thing I want to touch on with our product rule is let's say we were given a problem like 5x to the 7th times y to the 4th. You'll notice that we do have an understood 1 in front of this y, so we can go ahead and multiply uh, our whole numbers. So 5 times 1 would be 5. However, this is an x and this is a y. They are not like bases, so I cannot combine these two. I cannot do 7 plus 4 here because they're not both x's or both y's. So that's okay, we just can't combine them. So we just rewrite them as x to the 7th, y to the 4th. And that would be as far as we could take that problem. So that is the product rule, and now we're going to move on to something called the power to power rule. The fourth rule of exponents that we're going to talk about today is called the power 
to power rule. Now this rule, a lot of times uh, students confuse it with the product rule because both of them involve multiplying, um, but they are very different. So right from the get-go, right from day one, we wanna make sure that students are understanding the difference between product rule and power to power to rule. Um, these are two things that very frequently come up throughout the Math 1 curriculum. So we wanna make sure we have a, a pretty good handle on them from the get-go. So with the power to power rule, we could be given a problem like x squared and then brought to the power of five. So you'll notice this one is different from the product rule. We're not straight multiplying across. We've got a power that's been brought to another power. So I always tell my students, if we've got a power to a power, there's so much power going on, we need to do the most powerful operation that we can. Um, so between adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing, what's the most powerful thing? And usually they will say multiplying because they know they can go from a really low number to a really high number very quickly. Um, so power to power, we've got so much power going on, we need to multiply. So two times five would be 10. Now it's not always this basic. Sometimes they'll give you a problem like, let's say 2x to the 6th, y to the 4th, all brought to the power of 3. So you'll notice that everything contained within these parentheses is being brought to the power of 3. So since we've got powers to powers, we're going to be multiplying our exponents. Now it's important to remember, and I touched on this with the product rule, that if a number or a letter doesn't directly say that it has an exponent, it has an understood exponent of 1. So this 2 right here, I don't see an exponent with it. That means there's an understood exponent of 1 there. When we distribute this 3, we'll start with just the top part, or the first part. So 2 to the 1 power brought to the power of 3, 1 times 3 is 3. We'll worry about simplifying that in a minute. We need to continue distributing this 3. So 3 brought to the power, we've got uh, x to the 6 brought to the power of 3. 6 times 3 is 18. We still have one more we need to distribute to this y to the 4th. So y to the 4th brought to the power of 3, 4 times 3 is 12. Okay, now we always teach our students that we want to do the most simplified answer possible. So this 2 cubed, while this is technically correct, it's not in its most simplified form. So we need to reduce this as far as possible. Now a lot of students make a common mistake where they say, okay, that's 2 times 3, right? So our answer is 6. No, this is 2 to the power of 3, which actually means 2 times 2 times 2. It's 2, 1, 2, 3 times. So it's 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. So 2 cubed is actually 8, not 6. All right, and then we've got x to the 18th and y to the 12th. I can't reduce those any further because I don't know what x is and I don't know what y is. So that is basically the power to power rule and also our product rule. So in my next video, we're going to talk about what happens when we have negative exponents and how we deal with that, as well as how to divide using exponents. So watch out for that. I'm Miss Smith, and this is Miss Smith's Math Tutorials.